Um, hi, Rockies again. Recently, I talked to some of my partners, and they are very weird. And talk to me, say, oh, H3C got a uh, cloud solutions. Oh, H3C got a uh, hyper converged products. So uh, actually, H3C was starting to do the hyper converged or cloud solutions. Uh, I think it's about like a uh, ten years back, and uh, we invest our R and D resources and develop the products. So uh, today, I'm going to share uh, just simple idea about what H3C doing uh, in terms of our, uh, of our cloud solutions and some of the unique features that we can share okay, to my partners. So when I talk about uh, the cloud solutions, uh, this is a slide that I would like to share first, just to give you a very um, brief understanding about the uh, data center migrations. Uh, on the left hand side, you see already the traditional data center, what we, are doing, uh, what we were doing before. Uh, when we were running an applications uh, in the infrastructure, actually the storage, the compute, the network, the application, and the security device all deployed independently. It's like a vertical. So that means uh, you need to align or daisy chain all the resources to run uh, a single applications. When you see this kind of architecture, what is the disadvantage? If the compute resources or the network resources or the security resources nobody use, then the resources is just idle there. Of course, uh, if we can make it like a common pool of resources then we can utilize. So uh, later on, there's a virtualized data concept in the market. Uh, how is it? It is talking about uh, we virtualize some of the resources in the horizontally. Of course, uh, not all layers, especially in the storage and the compute. Uh, there are quite a number of uh, significant and good technology uh, developed in the market. In terms of uh, compute resources pool, I do believe uh, you remember, say, like uh, some of the virtual machines and in the market, a lot of the um, vendors like uh, Red Hat, like uh, VMware, like uh, KVM, they are doing quite good, quite well in terms of the compute resources pool so that you can virtualize uh, the compute resources to run a lot of uh, applications. And at the same time, you can also okay do this kind of a storage resources pool. Uh, well, long is like the sand storage, uh, this kind of storage platform. Uh, so when you can virtualize all these resources, uh, the user can get the benefit immediately. Since this is a common pool of resources, you can grow as you need, pay as you grow. So everything depending on the actual usage, okay, that you have to do, then you can upgrade. But at the same time, you see the whole data center uh, components regarding the security resources, regarding the network resources, it still cannot be virtualized. And now when we move to the third generation right now, okay, most of the ISP, the telco they are doing right now is the cloud data center. Uh, they put the application is on top, and then they are trying to run the cloud OS to manage all the resources as a resources pool. The concept is everything seems to be virtual. Uh, you install a switch. Actually, the switch is not okay. Belongs to anyone. Uh, the network resources, the switch, the router. Okay, everything is just virtual, based on the customer requirement, based on your setup of your virtual machines. And then the network resources will be assigned okay, to a particular application. Compute resources pool, similar concept, storage, and also security. You no longer to deploy a single security device for single purpose. Security is just a resources pool. So this kind of concept can guarantee the most efficient use of the uh, resources in your data center. When you find your compute resources is not enough, you just add this compute resources, add more CPU. If you are running AI, you add more GPU. 
In terms of the storage resources, if your hard disk storage, the storage size is not enough, then you can put on top, okay, further storage uh, in the platform. So this is a great concept, okay, when running. Of course, uh, the whole concept is still evolving and there are a lot of uh, good technology and solutions, function and features, okay, building on top uh, on the cloud OS and improving the cloud data center operation and maintenance. And we are talking about how we inject like the AI uh, features, some of the intelligent features to help the user to manage the data center uh, in a well manner. And HPC, uh, we are very strong in this part and we can provide uh, a very good solutions end to end. So normally we will divide it into like uh, two types of solutions. One is more large scale. And when we talk about the hyper-converged infrastructure, I can say it's like a mid to uh, small to mid, uh, uh, mid size um, deployment. Sure, all the investment can guarantee you to grow up okay, to very large scale deployment. And in terms okay, of our uh, H3C, uh, our hyper-converged UIS architecture, UIS is our hardware product uh, uh, series. Uh, in terms of the hyper converge, you see in the below layer, you buy the product like uh, UIS sell 3,000, 6,000, or even 9,000. These are different kind of hardware that you can run your cloud data center. It composed of uh, four elements. Talking about the computing virtualization, our cloud automation systems, so this is the hypervisor, the virtual machine that you can run your application. And this is a very important software module running okay on the hardware. Another uh, important software module is we are talking about the one store, the software defined the storage. And this can help uh, the customer to set up this cloud storage in the hardware architecture, uh, hardware infrastructure. Another one is the software defined network, the UIS net. Since when you connect all those uh, boxes together, uh, you are going to build a lot of the VM and all the VM will have a different kind of uh, network setting. So uh, all these network setting will be done automatically and at the same time by our UIS manager, I will explain later on. Another software module, we are talking about the, the uh, UIS security, UIS sec. Uh, since when you build up a cloud data center, you may run some kind of a virtual firewall, virtual load balancer, virtual router. So you are running, uh, you can run some security feature in your cloud infrastructure. So all these software modules are very important and all these modules was built by uh, HVC, uh, our own R&D to develop the products. On top of uh, the hyper-converged infra together with the virtualized data center, all the software modules, there's another very important module. We are talking about the UIS manager. And UIS manager is the management platform that can provide all the multi-dimensional security management and openness ecology together with a converge and simplified management for all this uh, infrastructure. Talking about the compute, storage, network, and the security features. When you're running uh, our HVC cloud data center, you may run some other like a public cloud platform or even like some other existing uh, cloud infrastructure or existing virtualization infrastructure. Uh, in such case, you may need, okay, add on top our uh, UIS uh, cloud management platform. And this can provide you the capability, not just uh, doing some kind of a hybrid cloud concept management of the public cloud. At the same time, okay, we can manage okay, some other uh, virtualization resources in your existing infra. And most importantly, HVC, uh, our uh, cloud infrastructure, we are based on the OpenStack interface so that we provide you the capability to integrate with the third party cloud platform so uh, this is a very uh, important feature that can help okay, our customer to easily expand and also integrate to other kind of platform without any uh, difficulties. So this is what uh, HVC right now we are doing. So when we talk about this, uh, the concept of the cloud data center, 
together with the H3C, uh, our UIS cloud infrastructure. So there are two features that I would like okay, to explain and share with my partners. And this is a very important in the cloud data center. The first one we are talking about uh, the DRS, the Dynamic Resources Scheduler, what we call the CAS DRS. And this feature normally, okay, when you run your uh, cloud infrastructure, uh, we talk about some of the intelligent features. The cloud infrastructure should be intelligent enough. Say, if one of your host machine, your host machine is very busy, say uh, your CPU memory may go up, okay, from 50 to 90%. So this will, okay, jeopardize uh, the efficiency and the performance. And at the same time, you need okay, to migrate your application from this host machine to another so that we can reduce the memory usage. So this is a very simple concept. Talking about when you are running different applications in different host machines, all this is on virtualized concept. Once okay, we find some of the resources hitting the threshold, I mean the system should have the intelligence say, if I find another host machine, they have a more spare capacity in terms of the memory usage. The app, one of the application or some of the application, based on some of the criteria you set already or based on the judgment of the platform, the application shall migrate okay, to some of the host machine with more spare, uh, resources. So this is dynamic, uh, dynamically done. Uh, agentness, you don't need to install an agent uh, into the VM so that you can achieve these features. And we can provide this uh, dynamic resources scheduler and guarantee the hyper-converged cloud infrastructure can run okay, in a most efficient manner. So this is uh, what H3C is doing and provide a very unique features to our customers. Another features I would like to share today is talking about the dynamic resources extension, DRX. Um, most of the uh, cloud infrastructure always bring about the flexibility. And there's a, always a scenario, say, uh, you are running a surface uh, in your cloud infrastructure. Mm. Say, for example, uh, in a government, uh, in a government cloud, uh, normally uh, they will set up uh, some of the survey uh, for a particular uh, uh, group of users. They need to give the feedback, whatever, before the deadline. So uh, as the deadline approach, more and more users will come online and uh, get access to the application, say for example, fill the information, uh, submit okay, the data or whatever, right? So at such time, uh, when approaching the deadline, more and more services okay, will be required, the application support. So when in the first day, when we build up the resources here, right? Uh, we may define maybe very minimum or just okay resources to run the application. So if more and more resources come, the application will overload. So the H3C cloud automating system, automation system will have the feature, say inform or oh, when I sense the application uh, is very busy and overload, I can create another VM and on top, based on the network function virtualization, right, the security feature, we can create another no balancer. We can no balance the service requirement, okay, to the existing uh, VM together with the new create VM. And if this thing keep on happen, right, we can keep on duplicating, okay, different VM and uh, applications at the same time in the computing virtual resources. And the whole process will be done automatically once you have set all those features. And this is a great feature, say, when you build up your cloud uh, uh, data center, you have your resources. And these resources will base on your actual requirement and then we can duplicate and utilize the resources in your cloud info without doing any complicated configuration and setup work. So this is the advantage and the uh, AI intelligence, uh, the, the AI features that can bring the benefits to the users so that you can run your application securely, safely, 
even though suddenly you can have like a application overload and this kind of a scenario. So uh, we have more features that can benefit the customer, no doubt. But uh, today I'm just going to share these two uh, slides uh, talking about uh, the HVC, our uh, CAS uh, advantages. Uh, later on, uh, if I can get some feedback from my partners, if you're interested, I can share some more features and unique features that can benefit okay, our customers. So thank you for listening. Bye.